Hello and welcome to today's edition of Banjo Kazooie Vehicles. Now, today I'm going to show you some of my awesome cars. This is the second edition on YouTube. Subscribe if you want to see some more. Okay, first off, we're going to look at some cars. Are you ready for that? Yeah? Alright. But remember, sights can be deceiving. Ha ha ha. Let's go! I'm going to show you this car first today. As you can see, it has balloons to slow it down on its descent. It is a tank. Yes, it is a tank. Comes down nice and slow. Breaks those balloons off. You're on your own. It is a tank, in fact. But it is not one that you'd expect. It has missiles, as usual. And it can always just take a dip if you want. It floats, of course. It sits fairly low in the water. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. It can definitely do circles. Woo! I'm going to show that outside now. Woo! Okay. So this is my tank. Um, I'm going to just park it and show you what's on the inside of it. As you can see underneath here is the engines and fuel. Okay. So it has the air cushion right here to let it float. It has a missile right here. It's ammo up front. Some windshield, the seat. Uh, the tracks, or wheels in this case, more ammo back here, propellers for moving in the water, two gyroscopes for moving a trailer hitch back here, yeah, um, yeah, that's basically the car, so, it's pretty cool, um, yeah, it's, this is this car for this edition, so I'm going to show you one more. Or the water ones in a moment. Oh, this is pretty cool. This I made exact right after my uh, previous video. It is another version of a pelican. But, watch this. Let me just grab a rock here. Whoop. Well, you put rocks, if you, I don't know if you can see that right there, but there's a rock in that container that I sucked up with a vacuum. And garbage disposal unit. I'm gonna fly it out. Put the water. Once you got all your stuff, have a good day. These things just pop right off. Talk about quick waste disposal. Now, I'm going to show you um, where is it? This. This I find cool. So, flies up, right? All good. Other than that, breaks off. Do do. Got your balloon. You're falling. Falling fairly fast though. And then these break off, and you got these balloons to slow you down even more. Plop, lands into the water, just like so. Yes, it is in fact a drop pod of sorts. What else do I have here? My fish. My fish, I built this before my previous video, but I never did show it because I was running really, I had a lot of time on it. So this is my fish I made. Um, you can see that there. Um, has eyes, of course. Looks really cool. Big, sharp teeth. It can, in fact, submerge. Has a tail. I'm working on one that will actually move its tail. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet, but if you have ideas, um, just you can send the uh, blueprints to me. 
Um, again, my username is Nickinator, um, and I C K A E N A T O R. Um, this plane has a suction blower um, to let it move faster. Um, has a gyroscope to make it look like it's diving. I find this really cool. Watch this. Submerged. Now watch how this thing guys this guy comes up. Roar! Out with its mouth. Pretty cool, huh? Yum, 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 yum. Yummy gears for dinner. Um, it has jets to let it move. It's actually pretty good. Big compared to the person. Banjo. Um, if I can park it pull it up on land. Fish out of the water, literally. It's pretty big. Um, it's about the size of banjo. Um, has gills, um, a fin, and then fins up top here. Its snout is fairly large, bigger than the bottom. Um, tail is black, but this is as long as it can go. Let me see here. What else can I show you? I'll show you some of my car, my uh, boats right now. Custom V. Yes, I know. I probably did delete just the. Uh, I probably did delete the uh, just vehicle and left the V, but you know it's always good to use that stuff. Um, as you can see, it's a boat. It's not quite done yet, but it's in its early stages. Um. It sits fairly low in the water. It has a door. Right up front. You can see that. Right there. Um, right now. The thing sticking out the back is an easy access door. See what I mean? You can just see it there. Wait, where'd it go? See it there? Hop into it. I'm in it now. Walk underneath this gate. And outside you are. Um, there are the jets underneath there. You can see that? Right there. Um, pretty big. This is pretty cool. It's an egg turret. Um, mounted on the front. You can use it to uh, get those pesky submarines that are under there. Or those schools of fish that you can flip, drive by all every now and then. Now I am going to show you my submarine. Somewhere in my 108 um, cars, it's here. Okay, here it is. So, as you can see, it's pretty cool. It's perfectly balanced, and I mean perfectly balanced. I mean, it has like three floaters for how much weight? What do you think this is? Half by, make yourself a guess right now. I'll give you a bit of time to think. And I'm going to show you it now. Over, over the half mark, that's pretty heavy. And look how many floaters are holding it. One, two, two. Two floaters holding up the, all this. And look, I even had to use a weight right here. See that? Just to make it balance more. When I say it's perfectly balanced, I mean it's perfectly balanced. It has a missiles, right here. Um, a gyroscope to dive. Um, of course, the floaters, of course, goes up slow. As you can see, and a specto spy, which just peers out of the water. It has a chameleon renders it invisible, an EMP, um, which turns off all the gadgets um, of yours and of people near you, um, yeah, that's my submarine, um, what else do I have here, oh, my super pig, I don't know what this has to do with pigs, but it is pretty cool. Whenever I play two-player with my brother, Josh, 
I always use this because it's fairly easy to kill them with it. Yeah, some missiles, a rust bin, and freezer. Sticking out the bomb right there. Dive bombs. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, these are its components. Just three weapons. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, does not float. It has two uh, large jets and uh, four small jets. It's actually really cool. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pick one of my other cars. This is going to be my final car for the day. But don't worry, there'll be way more, uh, oh, there'll be way more, um, uh, cars. Oh, trust me. So, this is my space shuttle. Yes, it does look cool. And yes, it does make it look a little odd. Now, see this back end with the three jets? Watch what happens to this when I press a button. That jet piece falls right off. At this point, you're out in space. Right? Now, you're coming above the moon. You fold out your extra wings. And you... Disconnect! Woo! You're coming down to the moon. And you're pretty spaceship. Plop. Isn't that cool? Now, watch this. Comes right out like this again. It's a boat, and a car, and a flying mechanism. There's your flying. There's your boat. And here's your car. Yeah, I know hovercrafts stink on land. I bet you all of you think that. Maybe. No offense to people that don't, though. I mean, I think I have time for one more vehicle, right? Yeah, plenty. Okay, I'm gonna pick A. These are pretty cool. I built a few of these, but this is one of my best. Take it out to the water. It is, in fact, an aircraft carrier. Yes, I built a few. You may have seen some in my previous videos. But this one's unique because the plane actually comes into it and lands and hits those bumpers and actually stops. Yes, it actually stops on this runway. And you can the pilot gets out, gets in one of these turrets, and as this thing moves, it stays secure with the big fence behind. Try to scoop up this whale with it. Oh, well, wars. <laughs> it's a fine whale. Okay, so that's my, uh, oh yeah, and it's fueled by uh, jets for speed. Yeah, this is uh, Nick and Ader, uh signing off. Uh, have a good weekend, everyone. And, uh, yep, see you later. Don't you love fire?